yeah, just 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 being able to first of all hear his name and it, the fact that I was able to hear this story and hear exactly how he came to fight justice for women, for children, for met like for people of color, like everything. But then also getting to see how he was a performer in his time. He was a performative historian. Um, and he was able to garner such big crowds and inspire them, rev, like rev them on, um, and just get people involved in the things that he was fighting for. Um, and, and I think like his thought processes as well, like the stuff that he would talk about, I think he was talking about robots in the 1800s, which even to tell that to someone, whether they believe you or not, <laughs> you know, is something that I think, I don't know, like it, it's, it, it's, it's so unusual to me um, because I just wouldn't put a man like Robert Wedderburn and the ideas that he was saying and the actions that he was doing in that time frame. So to have that suddenly at my disposal and to be able to learn about it and then put what I've come up with, the way I've grown up and using my experiences to fuel what I'm saying and doing in a theatrical parameter is something, that, I don't know, like it's, it's, it's something that I'm, I'm, so, I'm so happy to be able to be part of and to be able to share as well, even in a time when things are kind of flipping upside down at the minute. So yeah, it's a really, it's a really great experience. And I'm just, I feel so happy that this type of story, the fact that we're documenting it and living it and experiencing it and being able to share it will already spark so many other people's, whether it's their previous experiences or just their, their profound belief that, oh, there was a guy that did this and that and he was, you know, he's called this and he did this at this time and he went to prison for saying things that people didn't agree with. And I don't know, like, I, I just find it so surreal that someone, he was fighting at that time so strongly on his own um, and he was able just to get so many people. And yet now I feel like if we weren't making a story about him or documenting his story now, I don't think I would have ever found him and found what he was doing. And that wouldn't have necessarily made me think, oh yeah, hang on, what exactly do I know about black history, black British history um, that goes beyond Windrush and so many other stories that we don't know about. So yeah, I'm just so glad that we're doing it and we get to share it with people and they get to know his name and they also get to associate the stuff that he's written, the stuff that he's done, the things that he said through theater and through art and music and culture and bringing it all together for something that can be accessed by anyone.